YouTube, how's it going? AJ here. Uh, just heading home down the old bumpy, bumpy road here. Uh, thought I'd make another real quick video just talking about your routes. What routes you might have to get home in case you are in a city or somewhere where it's not a typical route that you would take. Like normally everybody just hops on the highway and hauls ass it into town or back home or whatever. Nobody really thinks of how am I going to get home if I'm in the city and something starts happening. You need to get yourself some good maps, some good county maps, depending on how far out you live or whatever, and uh, start planning some routes out of town to get back home if you're out in the country and stuff. Uh, folks in town, wouldn't be a bad idea to do the same thing. Uh, get yourself some maps, try to find you routes out of town to your bug out locations or whatever if you have any. If you don't, then uh, probably a good idea to find some and maybe find some people who uh, would be good to talk to uh, to have as a bug out location, even if it's not getting real far out into the city and st or I'm sorry out into the rural areas and stuff like that if you got anywhere you can get to to where you can get yourself out of the city get to you know the countryside and have somebody you can rely on out there there's there's enough people in the world that surely you can make friends outside the city people that live out of the city like myself we need to make sure we have routes to get us home and everybody should have plan a b c and wouldn't even hurt to have a d plan and always have communications with you always my preference is always to have your primary firearm with a couple two or three hundred rounds and your secondary firearm with 100 150 rounds depending on who you are what you feel i like to carry three days worth of calories, food, uh, several ways to start fires, ways to purify water, and ways to uh, have water on hand. I like my camel bag, but also have just a regular bag that I carry every day that has uh, two 20 ounce bottles attached to it. I was carrying just one 20 ounce bottle, then I attached a second one. Um, however, on my route home, I've got multiple creeks and mul multiple rivers, ponds, things like that, that I cross regularly getting back home on my normal route. However, when I go further out than my normal route to and from work, I will take my camelback, camelback, whatever it is. Uh, I call it camelback. Not sure what the proper name is. Um, there is so many things you should carry with you every day uh, a lot of people say that i overkill and that it's crazy and things like that that's fine i don't mind being a little bit crazy and a little bit over prepared uh i'd rather be over prepared than under prepared um and i like taking the scenic routes home anyways it gives me a chance to look at some of my some of my hunting ground and everything and uh it just really get you in the mindset if you're just driving the countryside enjoying your ride home winding down from work it allows you to enjoy the countryside plus look at the things that you may need to have in mind anyways just in case something does go bad will it ever go that bad I don't know you might as well just be prepared for it uh, my theory is prepare as best as you can for the future so when you are in the future, when you get to that point, you're not looking back and regretting your past. Regret's a horrible thing. So just be prepared, stay prepared. Keep looking for alternate routes, alternate means of taking care of yourself. And y'all have a good evening. Be safe. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all the things you know to do to help this channel out. I'm new at all this, and I hope it's worth your guys' time and mine. Thanks again. AJ, talk to you later.